Gracias, corazón. Ok, recuerda que no te puedo recoger hoy. Tengo que llevar a Freddy al doctor. We can't get daddy today. You have to go to the doctor. Ma, I told you I don't want to go to the doctor. I'm tired. Oh, yeah. Think of your football team. How are they going to win in games without the number one scorer? I guess they need me. Hey, maybe the doctor can tell you what's wrong with me, too. Tengo la misma cosa. Me duele la cabeza. Mi estómago me está matando. Y siempre estoy cansado. Qué chistoso eres, Rogelio. But when are you going to go see the doctor? Like I have time for that? I got a brand new business and a bank loan to pay. You gotta make time. And how are you going to get home today? Luis me va a dar un aventón. Luis? You're not getting in the car with that crazy person. Hey, that's my cousin you're talking about. It's mi primo. Yeah, he's el primo loco. I better get back while there's still a house left to paint. Bye, sweetie. Bye, papi. Come on down. Hey, Raj, what's going on? Luis, trying out the extreme sports version of house painting. What? What's wrong? Wrong? Nothing's wrong. Except everything you're doing with that ladder. You don't climb a step ladder when it's leaning against the building. You never stand on the top step and don't reach out to do your work. Yeah? Uh, how am I supposed to... Uh, ¿Cómo quieres que lo haga? You use the extension ladder. And never let the ladder get close to power lines or high voltage wires. Sí, nunca te acerques a las líneas eléctricas. Put it on level ground or level it with these and make sure it's not going to move. ¿Entiendes? Usa esos para nivelar la base y así te aseguras de que no se vaya a caer. Sí, sí, entiendo. I knew all that in both languages. Of course you did. Como supiste no poner la escalera demasiado cerca a la pared. You should be able to put your toes at the bottom and reach out with your arm and touch a rung just like that. Chale! And you always wear one of these. Because with a house this old, you have to assume that the paint we're standing has lead in it. Sí. Casi todas estas casas viejas tienen pintura de plomo. ¿De veras? ¿Esto me va a proteger del plomo? That's all we got for now. Just put it on. Hello, Mrs. Narwas. Oh, don't hello me, Mrs. Narwas. What do you think you're doing? Um, painting a house? You people are blocking my house with that, that truck and that other pile of junk. That curb is my property. What is my son gonna do with his car? Well, your son can take his car. Uh, okay, Mrs. Narwas, we'll move him. You bet you will. Don't touch power lines. Are you sure it's on firm ground? Claro que si. Why don't you move the van? I'll take the car. Roger! Este, váyanse un poco más ligero en la madera para que no se vaya a dañar. Hola! Mala pura pintura. Hey, hey, primo. Hey, Luis, how you doing? How's the arm? Gracias a Dios. No está quebrado. Good thing you didn't fall on your head. <laughs> I don't know about that. His arms do all the work. His head is pretty useless. Ha, 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 ha. Que chistoso, menso. But I gotta talk to you guys about what the doctor told me about the plomo. What? Oh, plomo is lead. What about lead? This lead poisoning thing is for real. De veras. Te puedes poner muy malo. Like, you got the flu all the time. Dolor de cabeza, de estómago, no puedes dormir. What else is new? I already have all that. Dolor de cabeza, I get headaches because my cousin falls off a ladder his first week on the job. <laughs> I mean, no wonder I can't sleep, and I get belly aches. <gasps> oh, ay, mi estomago! Oh. <laughs> Keep laughing, primo. But the doctor says you might not have no symptoms at all. And the leg can make it so you can't have no kids no more. That's right, te enteras que no puedes tener hijos. Ni puedes intentar tener hijos. The lead can make it so you don't even want to have the kids no more. Luis! Hey! Stop trying to scare everybody. Do you see a lead problem here? Donde está el veneno de plomo aquí? That's the thing, mano. It's invisible. 
está en todas partes. It's all over the place. Cuando estás lijando. You can breathe and let dust when you sand paint off. Cuando raspas la pintura vieja. Uh, and then it's all over. Está en tus manos, en tu cara, en toda la ropa, tus zapatos. So when you eat something or drink, cuando comes o bebes algo, al final, todo te entra por la boca. Or when Bobby is sneaking in one of those cigarros, he's poisoning himself. Of course he's poisoning himself. He's smoking. He takes that risk. And when we come to work, we take some risk. You need to man up, Luis, or you can work someplace else. Primo, ¿me estás corriendo? I'm fired? Of course not, Luis. You're our number one regular employee. I'm your only regular employee. Luis, you're probably right. It's just that everything costs money. And that's something that Roger and me just don't have a lot of right now. Lo siento, primo. We got a new business here, and we're under a lot of stress, and right now I got this terrible headache. Okay, don't start. I'll look into it. I promise. But for now, let's just do the best we can. A sus órdenes, jefe. Angie! Freddy! ¿Qué pasó? We need to talk, Rogelio. Can we do this later? My head is killing me. I had a terrible day in Luis. No! We have to talk right now. The health department was here about Freddy. What about Freddy? Remember? Le analizaron la sangre? Well, her lab test came back. She has lead poisoning. Está envenenada y por eso ella ha estado cansada y enferma. Well, that's ridiculous. How could she have lead poisoning? No. Estás loca! What are you talking about? It's you, Roger. You're bringing it back from work. Está en toda tu ropa de trabajo. It's on your clothes. It's on your boots. Tus botas. You get lead dust all over you, and then you come home and hug your daughter, and she's breathing it in. Tu hija respira el plomo. You track it in on our shoes. She gets it on her toys, in her mouth. Entra en tus botas y termina en su boquita. Y su pequeño sistema no aguanta el veneno. Roger, you didn't know. No lo sabías. No, I didn't. I won't bring home any more lead dust, I promise. Of course you won't, but you gotta change more than your work clothes. What do you mean? To begin with, the doctor says you need to get a blood lead test right away. Yo? Necesito análisis de sangre? Claro que sí. Estás enfermo también? Come on, Rogelio. You've got all the symptoms. The headaches, the stomach aches. You don't sleep. You're always tired, siempre cansado. Ni tienes energía para mí, para nosotros. Roger, you don't even have the energy to make love. What are you talking about? Sabes que es la verdad, Rogelio. Angie. It's gonna be all right. I hope it's gonna be all right. Espero si Dios quiere que los exámenes le salgan bien. But now it's time for you to start taking care of yourself and your family. And now I have guys working for me. I have to take care of them too. I don't even know where to begin. ¿Por qué no hablas con tu amigo, Pepe? Why would I talk to Pepe? You always say he does things right. Okay. We'll talk to Pepe. You gotta start somewhere. No, 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 mi amor. First, you go to the garage, and then you get your work clothes and your boots. Put them in the bag. ¿Quieres que ponga mi ropa en esta bolsa? Y tus botas también. Then you go to take a shower, and then we'll talk. <laughs>